This video is designed to help you start a body butter business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a body butter business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful body butter business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Before you start making your body butter business plan, conduct thorough market research. Knowing the target audience and their needs can be greatly aided by thorough market research. Get knowledge of body butter. Many people already possess the skills necessary to make body butters, while others prefer to hire professionals or skilled experts to produce various types of body butters. Getting to know the nuances of making body butters simplifies the process of producing high-quality products. Create a body butter business plan. Make a thorough business plan for your body butter making operation, so that others will understand your area of competence. A legitimate company name and a list of the services should be included. More buyers and sellers will seek out your services as a result. Funding One of the most crucial elements for a business to get off the ground is funding. The venture requires a large sum of money to get off the ground. Proper financing or investment aids in business expansion and advancement. Additionally, if you have a limited budget, you can start a body butter making business from home, by buying basic body butter making equipment, and then gradually increasing your output. Legal license and registrations. Do everything lawfully. Starting a body butter making business should necessitate the completion of the appropriate documentation, such as a legal trade license and business registration. Authenticity is provided through this. Raw materials, sourcing best body butter supplies. The raw materials needed to make body butter should be of high grade. Bulk creation is aided by raw material quantity. Make sure to always buy your raw materials from reliable vendors who provide high quality materials. Make a list of all the raw materials needed to make the product you want to sell, as a starting point. High quality shea butter, cocoa butter or mango butter, carrier oils, essential oils, as well as other butter making containers and tools, are the raw ingredients you need to make body butters. Equipment. The equipment needed to launch a body butter business makes a significant difference. Finally manufactured stuff would be executed by good, correct machinery. Fully automatic equipping machine. Body butter making equipment that is fully automated is available for purchase, if you want to complete your work more quickly. Additionally, you'd have to work less hours each day, and be more productive overall. Semi-automatic whipping machine, butter whipping devices that operate semi-automatically are capable of handling requests with simple specifications. The devices would require little time and would eventually produce good results. Manual whipping machine, if you've launched a small business. Using manual machinery will help you finish orders quickly. A little time consuming, but would give the body butter a homemade feel. Evaluating profit margins. Consider periodically assessing the profits your company is generating. High profit margins are necessary for the company to grow at a healthy rate. Starting a body butter making business requires little capital. You can now determine the profitability or profit margins in this body butter manufacturing firm, because the demand for fragrant body butter creams is constantly increasing and the cost of the raw materials and necessary equipment is also low. Marketing The positioning of your company in the market is a crucial goal of a business plan's marketing and sales strategy. In order to generate more leads, marketing methods should also appeal to the target population. Consumers as a target audience, the clientele should be reached directly by the company. Only in order to meet their wants would the audience be interested in the goods. Online marketing, product digital marketing is on the rise at the moment. To promote your brand and product to a bigger audience online, you must use your website, social media accounts, emails, and digital promotions. Offline marketing. Don't forget to take use of any offline marketing opportunities you may have, such as pamphlets, leaflets, and billboards, which can be used to advertise your items to a variety of consumers. Safety guidelines. While conducting the body butter making company, some guidelines should be taken into account. Manufacturing cosmetics in your house is not illegal. However, keep in mind that it is your duty to produce goods in a setting that prevents adulteration. For cosmetics, the FDA does not have rules defining good manufacturing procedures GMP. An FDA investigator will, however, consider a number of things on the Good Manufacturing Practice GMP, guidelines checklist when conducting an inspection. Is body butter business profitable? The body butter manufacturing industry is profitable. One of the most well-liked businesses for newcomers is this one. There are a few reasons why you should start a body butter making business. The first is that the startup costs are low. 
The next part of the video is not specific to the body butter business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the body butter business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful body butter business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs. Try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, 
How much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a body butter business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free Body Butter Business Plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.